Good, whatever it is, I'm Antelus. Welcome back to Space Engineers. So, today the plan is to continue with our ship here. I've built up a lot of this off camera, and I want to show you what I've done. So, first of all, we have the nanite system, it's fully plumbed up. I like this design. It's going to change too because these aren't really necessary, but I didn't want to leave just the top ones that are really holding it. That's something I'm still going to have to figure out. We'll see what I come up with too. I like this design because I feel like it looks kind of Star Trek reactory. Uh, the glass is backwards though. I've had the nanite system doing all this stuff so I haven't noticed. The first time I've looked at it complete. I, I did these while it was working on the top. But yeah, I like it. And then back here we have our little hangar bay. Oh, it's a spot. And I put a ship in it. You'll notice the trees are gone. Thank you. I don't recall your name right now. Whoever told me I can use the grinders. That really, really did work. And so that's awesome. Well, no more trees to deal with. So the plan for today is that we're going to take this front right here and make it into an end of some sort. See the nanite system working away. That's the build and repair, not the nanites one. I don't think I left anything for the nanite one to you. Also, I want to shut that off because we don't have tons of power. I've left this thing to charge. Uh, so these should have a fair amount of power. Let's just put all the batteries on recharge for now. Stored power. Max stored power. Oh, so they're all full. Okay, and so we're going to have to add on to this a little bit. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I want like an observation area. This thing clearly isn't designed for combat. I'm trying to think how I'm going to round this out. Let's cut off this one real quick. Oh. And hopefully the building repair system will get that now. I've heard that that's now part of the mod, which is awesome. I love that. That's actually part of the reason why I switched to the nanite mod. Was because I want to have to pick up my trash everywhere. Sorry. Um, also, I want it to be able to do mining. So the nanite mod has a beacon you can place down with a power source that says mine this. And so we can place down a beacon on the uranium, which I want to do before we leave and have it mine that all up. We're too far away right now. I believe its range is 75 meters, but I could be getting it confused. Is there a way to see that? On medical, I love that too, that it will go and heal me. So mining. So we'll probably be getting that at a later point for now I'm going to work on the front of this vehicle and so I like the glass cockpit idea we're going to need some windows back here too because it's a little too dark if I shut off my light eh, it's not as bad as I remembered it being actually but I still feel like it's dark back here and I've added all those lights and I'm not super happy with them yeah you hit points like this and it just goes pitch black so that, that's something to be fixed. How do we want to do this? Last time I built a ship like this, I just used a pointed nose. And that worked. I'm thinking about doing something kind of out and around. It would go here, come out a little ways. So you can look backwards in this cockpit area as well. Didn't I place down a wheel back here? Maybe I didn't. It's been a little while, because I wasn't sure that would be its final spot. And honestly, I'm still not sure, because I'm thinking it depends on how long the cockpit is. Let's... we're gonna do some counting right now. Ready? One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three... Or 
five, six, and that would be here, which is okay with our door. Let's just mirror this on the other side real quick. And so the door would probably have to come around before it goes down the wheel, or it might be okay. And that would actually make it pretty easy to do an eight-wheel vehicle, which is my goal. One, two, three, four, five, six, here. That's where that would put the next wheel. Maybe what we'll do is we'll actually let it... Okay, I'm thinking of this all on the fly, and that's always dangerous. We'll let it come in a little ways. And so... I'm not thinking super far either. We brought it in just one block. Let's do let's go for two actually. Two be there. see. Oh, cut up my mess. These. Let's drop some of this off and just pick that up ourselves. I'll stop being lazy for a little bit. Unless it gets it for me before I can do that. Cool. So. Oh. What is going on? Why can't I seem to empty my inventory? That's so weird. Okay, let's take a look. 796. I, I'm emptying it, but it's like my inventory shrunk. There we go. Definitely have space now. So, next wheels go here, and they're going to have to be brought up a little ways too. No, no, they'll be fine. That gives us, oh, sorry for that. That gives us a really long cockpit, which I kind of like and I kind of don't do. If we mirror this over on this side. Bring these both one. Oops. Walked off the edge there. I think that would be okay. I probably can't place this wheel while that until we move this. That should be fine. Where I put the wheels. So many pages of stuff. Is that it? Eight. Three by three. We're using the five by five. Left. I don't know which way it's referring to left from. So this would be left. That's not a welder or a grinder. Left. Okay, we're doing left on this side. That's fine with me. I think that actually makes some sense too. Eight. You're too close, it won't place the wheel right now. You shouldn't be too close to anything. Except for the mountainside. Apparently it wasn't. So if we do a 5x5 five five right...
placing these all the same. I chose the thin bit on top, which I feel like I always get it wrong. Probably just do it backwards what, I, what I'm thinking. However, I'm not going to do that. I feel like I've placed these all upside down. And we're gonna run out of hydrogen. Try to run out nicely. That. And that's all of the wheels. Except for the one by this boarding ramp. Because it's gonna have to move. We're gonna run and grab some hydrogen real quick too. That was faster than I thought it would be, but I guess I'm used to healing rather than refilling hydrogen. So, from here, we need the cockpit still. That should be fine. Oh, and I didn't place that wheel either. On page six, seven. Okay. That's seven of our eight wheels missing this one right here. We can't cut until we have these ready. If you're wondering why it's not building things right now, it's because of the lack of resources. Because I, I mined a bunch of iron and other stuff, but I didn't mine enough. So, figuring out how to end it. Oh, maybe it's just out of range or something. It's welding. Of course, I have all the stuff to do this on me. But it's welding it up a little bit. I like the idea of having a framework. So if I do something stupid, it doesn't just all collapse to the ground. Okay. What if we just turn this whole thing into the cockpit? And that's huge, that's absolutely massive. And we don't really have any sort of a rounded nose currently. Doesn't have to be the case though. Thinking this through while I'm welding things. Promise. It's an odd base, too. So. It's so weird that it does that. I don't feel like I know how to do this any way other than rounded, honestly. And make it look half decent. I don't know what I think of that. What if we just continued it and made it pointy on the front? Eh, uh, it's better-ish. Problem. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's just work on the rest of this for a little bit. Leave it alone and we'll come back to it. Three. Three by three flat. Okay. And I don't have any girders, of course. Let's run and grab some of those. I mean, I have some. Because I am a bad engineer and don't keep things in stock. Two girders. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Apparently I'm actually a good engineer, I just didn't realize it. We're gonna go with that at least. No, I, I want it facing the other way. Stop. So, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'll step down the ceiling. That. And let's use some armor slabs or something. How far forward do I need to go right now? So these are placeholders just to count spacing. I mean, I guess spacing doesn't matter so much given this is not the final shape of it. I don't have tons of room because if I go 3x3 three three above here, it's got to expand. Above here is fine. So I have a space of one. Totally miscounted things. That. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. I'm gonna lay maybe some angled blocks right there. And run like a spine over the center of this glass. Of some sort. And now, sides. If I do the gently sloping one. be quite something to figure out but it's flat 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 I don't want flat but too slow that's the one got a three and that's that's actually gonna be fine because I've got two space over to that's perfect right that that's what I'm gonna do flip this around and do the same thing on this side and then we're gonna it's that curve that I've got to figure out and it's gonna Probably have to be different around the wheel. Hmm. I don't know. Curve's a hard one. But. I think this is where I'm going to have to call this episode. I'm right at time as of now. So I think you can see the general idea of what I'm going for. I don't know how I'm going to end the front, but I know roughly where I'm going to end it. So 
I'll get some of this figured out off camera, some of it I'll do on camera as well too. But I like showing the design process of this. I don't think I have the most beautiful looking ships, but I think I come up with some interesting looking ideas. Anyways, I'm Entellus. I'll catch you later.